hope you guys are good to those who are new here hi my name is Lenge Kumaro and welcome to my channel to my returning subscribers thank you guys for your endless support i really appreciate it this video as you can tell by the title i'm here to share with you guys how god has been great to me and i want to be close to god more now and um disclaimer guys i am I'm, I'm 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 not doing this video or i'm not sharing this with you because i feel like i'm better or i'm not a sinner guys i'm a human being after all i still have a share of my mistake i still do wrong things just like any other human being so i'm just here because I feel like when you talk about things you bring light to other people you bring light to even yourself because if you don't talk about it and you bottle it all in you you bring dark and that's gonna affect you and it's gonna damage you but on today's video it's not about hurts it's not about you know it's all about God because guys we really need to give credit to God because he is everything you know so i'm going to give you a little bit of my background so that you can understand so i grew up in Tlushue, north coast in a rural area and i i was staying with my grandmother so at back at home um they are nazareth so every saturday my granny will tell us to go to the church and stuff like that so we will go to church the thing is now i i didn't understand the reason why we're going to church because nobody ever really um sit down and explain the importance of going to church so we we're going there because my grandmother was hey we must wake up we must go to church and stuff like that you know so we were going there but one thing that i really enjoyed when we were there at church i enjoyed the songs i enjoyed singing i'm not a good singer but i feel like um music is, is my therapy so i was enjoying their songs because they're so nice i didn't know how to pray because nobody ever really teach me how to pray and stuff like that so the only reason why i was going to church is because they singing and i was really enjoying the part where my grandfather was a preacher of the day because my grandfather was so hilarious he was so fun so if it's his turn to preach like you know we're gonna have fun everybody in the in the church will laugh may his beautiful soul rest in peace so yeah so the reason why i'm explaining this background is because i just want you and guys to understand that i didn't know god by then i only went to church because of my grandmother and my grandfather used to to be fun at church you know so when people are start praying i'll be like listening to what they're saying and then i'll say amen right so that's the the, the jake so as time goes by and time goes by then i relocated to Devon where i was staying with my mom so things were not uh really okay on my mama's side and um when i when I was staying with my mom, uh, my grandmother, because Uma, Kama Mami, she passed on and may her beautiful soul rest in peace. I know she is in heaven and I know she is looking after me and most definitely she is my guiding angel and that's on period and i'm really grateful for that i love you Kokwami. so ukokomwane suggested that um 
I need to go look for a job. Remember, guys, I never worked before. I finished school and I didn't do anything. I was doing home tech for like two years, if I remember. And then my granny said, um, now you need to go look for a job. You need to come stay at my place for some time while you're still trying to find a job. Then I moved in with my grandmother who was staying in Delhi North by then. So when I moved in with my grandmother, um, my grandmother was different. My grandmother was praying for everything and everything. So I realized or I noticed that my grandmother, every time when we're having a dinner, uh, when if it's time for us to eat, we will start praying and we will have session where we talk about God and we will have Bible studies, you know. And I really enjoyed it because to me it was the first time like having someone who talk about God, who teaches you the ways of God and stuff like that. So I really liked it because really guys, I was not okay after relocating to Delhi and I think that will be the story for another day. So I was very traumatized and stuff like that. So my granny told me this one time that, um, so we need to do your CVs and you need to go look for a job, right? And then I was like, oh, okay, he did my CV, he dropped my CV, he printed them. And then the next day, she said, um, so today you're going to go look for a job at Windermere Center. And um, you will put your CVs at the restaurant and other stores, right? So I was like, oh, okay. So before we, I go, uh, my granny took my hand and put it like this on my on my on my cv he took my hand and then he started praying he, she prayed and prayed and prayed and then she's like after we're done she was like you know what the first restaurant that you're gonna step into they will hire you in jesus name and i was like thank you coco and then she dropped me by Windermere because her office was down the street, like five minutes away from Windermere Center. And then I, the first restaurant that I went to was Zakes. So when I get there, I was shaking. <laughs> I was nervous. I was scared. I was so scared. Guys, remember, I never really do a job hunting it was my first time doing it so when i get there i uh, i went to speak to the other actress that was there and i told her that i'm looking for a job he said she said um she's going to call the manager for me and then she called the manager the manager was white a, gen a white gentleman his name i still remember his name his name was brandon and then I told him that I'm looking for a job. And then he said, uh, let me see your CV. Have you worked before? And I was like, no, I never worked before. And I started crying. I don't know why. Because <laughs> I was so scared. And then I started crying because I cry for everything, guys. So I started crying. And then he said, okay, I'll take your CV. And then I'll call you. And then I was like, thank you. And then I walked out. And then I was going to other places because there was Mr. Price, then there was Cliffs. And I went to Mr. Price, they say they're not hiring. And I went to Cliffs, they say I do not have experience. Then I went upstairs to check out, they took my CV. And I went down to my, um, when I was done, I went down to my grandmother's office so that we will go home together. And then I told my grandmother, what happened and stuff like that and then my grandmother said they will call you and I was like Coco Coco go inside and then I confident in that <laughs> you know okay okay so we went home 
And then the next day, they called me, they said I must come. Um, uh, I need to go and get some manual so that uh, I will study their menu and then I will write a test and if I pass it, then I'm hired. So I went there, they gave me manual, they are, they are their menu, their food menu, and I study and study and study and study. And then they call me, it was on Friday if I'm not mistaken. They call me, they said, uh, I must come write a test. And I wrote the test. I remember the other waitress was helping me. <laughs> uh, her name was Caesar. Caesar, yeah. She helped me. She was telling me the story. She was telling me the answers, you know. <laughs> so yeah then i submitted my test and then they said they told me that i must come tomorrow wearing black black jean and black t-shirts and black everything i'm studying my training i got the job and i told my grandmother and everyone was so happy and she said ah look at god and she was so happy and then that's how i started my first job guys i was so excited it was fun but at the beginning i was a little bit scared because child, i was from rural areas i didn't understand a lot of things but then the they, they, they other waitress was so kind to me so they were teaching me and stuff like that so the reason why i'm telling you guys this story remember it's sunday I'm sharing this story because I just want you guys to see how how God can take you out of the situation and put you in a good situation. I, I, I'm sharing this uh, story with you guys because I just want you to see if you communicate with God, God will listen. God, let me tell you about God. God understands, right? God knows you. God, God knows what you want. He just needs you to ask. And he will give you. Because in God's eyes, we are his kids. We are equal. So if you are his kid, if you are a kid to your, to your parent, what you do when you want something, you ask, and then they give it to you, right? So same thing with God. If you want something, he will give it to you. But here's the trick. Ask God for what you want. Because he already knows what you want. But don't expect or don't give God good to god i want this now because god is gonna do it in his own timing and his timing is always perfect you know so there are things that when you look back and you're like no that was not me that was you know because that was not my granny my granny is not the reason why i got the job but god gave me a job because why my granny asked God to give me a job. And then he did. So when he says, his promise I yes. Yes, he will, keep your pro he will keep the promise because he promised you that he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. So God will never forsake you. God will never leave you. What you need to do, you just have to ask and wait, right? Because Tina, like, which means we're demanding because you can't ask from your mom and then we for the man if your mom is busy with something or if your mom cannot give you today that doesn't mean she will he will she will never give it to you she will give it to you when the time is right and when she have because it might happen that she doesn't have what you want at that time but she will give it to you so same thing with god that's how god works and i've learned uh something because introspection i'm very good with it you know so remember guys i told you that i didn't know how to pray and stuff like that still even now i can't pray 
But I've learned that if you talk to God, if you have conversation with God, it's working. God listens, you know. So what I do, if I'm not okay, I take the mirror, I look at myself, and I talk to God. God, why are you doing this to me? What need to be happen now? You know that I don't have anyone but you. Because guys, I've been experiencing a lot of rejection, betrayal, you know, a lot of bad things that you can think I've been there, you know, fake friends, people talking bad about my name, people disowning me, friends betraying me, family betraying me, you know. But you ask yourself, how did I move on and how did I heal? And you think and realize that was really not me because I'm not that powerful, guys. Like, I'm not that strong. So which means God was there for me in that own period. So right now, what I want or my wish is to be close to God more, to obey God and to connect with God and to talk to God because God is clean, God is kind, God is love, God is everything that is beautiful, God is our father, God is our mother, God is everything and most important, God is able. So whenever you feel like the world is turning against you whenever you're feeling like people are rejecting you whenever you feel like it's too hard like you just can't you're up here just try this kneel down and pray if you can't pray just talk to him he will listen to you so i hope i'm helping someone out there that let us go back to God because guys really right now in our days it hectic it hectic like it's really not easy life is difficult and the only escape here is God that's what I've realized because when you communicate with God you find peace you find hope you feel like everything is okay like you don't have stress nothing you know so i just want to challenge you guys if you are looking for a job before pray pray if you can't pray talk to god god you know what i want i'm looking for a job i really need this job please God will listen to you and he will give you the job. If they reject you, which means that God was not, which means that job was not yours. So God is going to give you the better job, you know? So yeah, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this um, video. And another thing, guys, let me tell you something here. I was going through a rough time, like, yo. I was going through a lot and financially I was really really struggling but this one time I was going to shop right to do a grocery shopping and when I was there I shopped and shopped and shopped and shopped and then I was waiting for my Uber now and then this beautiful lady she was a colored lady she came to me while I was still waiting for an Uber she said, I can see that you're not okay. And I'm like, how, how, how possible is that? How, what is it that makes you say I'm not okay? He said, she said, um, you even want to cry. I can see even your eyes want to cry. And I said, yeah, I want to cry. And she said, God sent me to you to tell you that she, he knows and he loves you and he is always with you and everything will be fine 
and then that lady hugged me and then told me that God loves you and then she went and I was like what has just happened and then I came in the house I told my cousin and my cousin was like what was that and you know guys and I was like God was that you you know so there are a lot of stories that, that I wish I can share with you how God has been so faithful to me how God has came through for me but because of time because I don't want my videos to be long so um, guys like please at the end of the day God is amazing right God loves me if God can love me so why in a Gaza turn them in? Because it's on King Ganzak, you know. So I mean I used to say um God's favorite <laughs> because today, like from now on, not from now on, I've been praying about it that God can I be close to you, you know. Can I tend to you even when I'm happy, even when I'm sad, even when I'm not okay? Can I tend to you, not anyone but you? So, yeah, like I have peace. You can't tell that I'm an antidepressant, right? Because I'm inviting God in my life. I just want to build a good relationship with God because I know everything will be fine. So I dare you to just give God another chance because that's what I'm doing. You don't want to take a chance. Like you don't want to give it a try. Let's give it a try again then and see. Right. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. You was inspired and don't forget that God is able and God love me and he loves you too <laughs> so guys please take care of yourself and always be kind i know that right you need to be kind try it if you're not kind please try it for my sake please 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 be kind to anyone with anything to be kind even to yourself you know so yeah man i'm so happy I'm talking about God. Look at me now. Look at me now. So, guys, please stay fabulous, stay blessed, and always be kind. And I will see you later. Bye. God loves you.